Greetings, everyone. It's Mr. Christian with the Boy Scouts of America. Today, you are going to build your very own robot. But first, let's learn a little bit about our mechanical friends. When most people think about robots, they think about the crazy mechanical humanoid contraptions we see in science fiction movies and TV shows. In the beginning of the 20th century, a German filmmaker named Fritz Lang created a revolutionary movie called Metropolis, which featured a robot with the hard to pronounce name, the Maschinenmensch. It was the first robot ever to be depicted on film. In 1951, there was a sort of scary robot named Gort. In this case, Gort was not a mean machine. He was actually trying to encourage peace among humans. He was a pretty good guy. In 1968, the TV show called Lost in Space featured a robot which was unusually protective of its human masters. Danger, Will Robinson! Danger! No, Will Robinson! Danger! We can never forget the evil robot from the 1995 movie, The Terminator. I'll be back. The idea of robots goes back a long, long time ago. Early robot-like creations were generally referred to as automatons. The great Italian inventor, Leonardo da Vinci, created this humanoid automaton in about 1495. A 16th century inventor named Juanello Turiano created an automaton referred to as the mechanical monk. The robot-like toy can walk in a square pattern, mouthing devotions to God, nodding its head and occasionally beating its chest with its right arm and kissing a rosary and cross with its left. In 1739, French inventor Jacques de Vaucanson created a digesting duck that could flap its wings, splash in a pool of water, and, bizarrely, eat grain from people's hands and poop preloaded pellets onto a silver platter. Yuck! In the late 1800s, Japanese craftsman Hisashiji Tanaka, known as Japan's Edison, created an array of extremely complex automatons, some of which could serve tea, fire arrows drawn from a quiver, or even paint Japanese letters. Today we have robots all around us. Robots help us build cars and even vacuum our living rooms. Robot vacuum cleaners, like this one, are things straight out of those sci-fi movies that we all love. They make our lives easier, which is the goal of most modern robots. They are also seen in crazy machines like robotic ants and this hopping kangaroo. Wow! Wild, huh? These mechanical creatures actually have no functional purpose. They are really fun to watch though, right? kind of like the automatons we looked at during the first part of this video. So, now, let's get to the really fun part. Building your very own robot! So you're gonna need some supplies for this project. Start with an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardboard. Then, we'll need some scotch tape. Next, some scissors, five straws, and some shoelaces. Next, let's take the straws. Take your first straw, cut it down to four inches. Let's cut 
three wedges in your straw and then you're going to do that for the remaining four straws. Next, we're going to take one of your shoelaces and tie a really bold knot on one end of it, like this. From here, what you're going to do is take your straw and thread the shoelace like this, ending up at the, the big knot on the one side. You're going to do that with all five shoelaces. You should then cut out a piece of cardboard that kind of looks like the palm of your hand. Then take the five straws and tape them onto the cardboard like this and you're done. From here on, it's time for you to just play with your digits. You've got your very own robot. Yeah. Well, that's about it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed learning about robots and even making one of your own. This is Mr. Christian, signing off. See you in the next time. Bye!